Hey guys, hello and welcome to episode 9 of my Myst Survival Let's Play. And it's finally the dreaded hunting episode that I've been, like, nervous about making because, you know, it could go one of two ways. If you don't see the bear coming, he'll maul the crap out of you. Okay, so, um, as you can see, I've already gone hunting once. Uh, I did not include it in my Let's Play, but I have one chunk of meat. And I'm going to show you guys not how to destroy your um, supply holding equipment, for one thing. Alright, so it's going to take me a minute to get into the groove here, if you will, because I've been playing on another, another save file. Alright, we have no water in there. Wow, we have no water in there either. Okay, um, I'm hoping that we have... Okay. So for now, I'm actually going to take these with. All right, so I'm going to open the garage. And I'm going to show you guys what you, what you guys are going to want to do is get the shotgun, which if you've been following along in the Let's Play, I show you where it is. You start your engine, back out of this garage. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys where to go, where you'll encounter the bear. <clears throat> now, I know that it can spawn in a few different spots. I believe there's two, either two or three spots that, it can, that the bear can spawn. So, here we go. By the way, you don't want to switch between the two sets of lanes very often because you can get stuck in the middle. There can be invisible... I guess there's spots where the terrain changes and the vehicle can strike them and get stuck. But anywho... Um, here's the area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park right down over here. Kill our engine. We're going to hop out of the vehicle. Now, here's the bear that I took out earlier. Once you kill a bear, this is going to be your menu, what it looks like. You're going to want to have either a machete or a combat knife with you because those are the best to use. You're going to select an uh, area of the bear. Select what you're going to get out of there. And then you're going to select the tool to use. Now for the head, it says it's best to use an axe. So we're going to click butcher. It's going to take 15 minutes to get one piece of meat. Now obviously, the more materials you're gathering, the, the more, you know, it's the more, um, the harder, it's, you know, the longer it's going to take. Rather, Sorry about that. But um, apparently the only thing that I can get now is one um, animal hide. Because of the fact that I already butchered this bear previously and got all the stuff from the bear already, that's the last thing that I can get from it. So I'm not sure if another bear is going to spawn over here. Uh, I have my doubts because that bear is still a carcass. So I, I don't know how this game, I don't know how it works when it comes to spawning. But apparently it does work because there's another bear right there. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm probably going to have way too much material after I kill this bear. I'm going to get up on him. Now, you're going to want to get a nice headshot on him. Two shots, the bear is down. You're going to click E to butcher the bear. You're going to click this part of him, is what I do. I'm going for fat in this part of it. Okay, so I'm going to take six fat, two meat. Now, that's two hours, okay? So, it's probably going to be pretty dark after we get done with this, and I made a mistake because I don't even know if I can carry all this. Okay, so, I'm going to drink my cola. I'm going to grab the animal fat, and we're going to be quick about it. Excuse me, I hit the microphone. We're going to be quick about getting back to my vehicle because I also, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to time my recording. But I'm glad there was another bear because I showed you guys basically how the system works, how to take down the bear. Now I'm going to show you how to process all the stuff we got from the bear. I'm going to hop in my vehicle. By the way, you don't have to open the door on the vehicle. That's just a habit with me. You can just walk up to it and press E and you'll hop right in. Okay. So now... See, there's one of those spots, but I should I should have known because there's a there's 
if you, if I was paying attention, I would have known that I couldn't go over that way. Okay. So don't worry if you get shot at going by that cabin. It, as long as you're going quick enough, you're not going to take any damage. Oh, boy. Okay, lucky for me, I landed <laughs> on my tires. I have never had that happen. I'm usually pretty good with seeing obstacles. But I was going a little quick there. Okay, so the things you're going to need to process the animal fat. Animal fat can be turned into fuel. All right, so let's see. Exit is F. We're going to pop out all the animal fat. Actually, you know, we can go ahead and pop out the meat too. And I'm starving, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this chunk of meat. Now, our only worry now is that we've got a lot of raw meat, and it could go bad pretty quickly. And also, it's nighttime. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop this extra meat in there, and I'm going to pop the animal fat in there and the hide. Shut off our light. We're going to head upstairs, and we're going to get some shut eye. 20, 22, 24. Better start with five hours because, as you guys know, if I hear a noise, I wake up. Then we got to wait forever to do our stuff, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to sleep in five hour. Ah, man, we were going to sleep in five hour blocks, but we might have to do an hour at a time now. That's the only advice I can really give you guys. If if the infected start moving in on your home while you're sleeping, try sleeping for a, a lesser amount of time. It'll definitely help. One more hour should get us into the day enough so the temperature will start coming up and the infected, well, even if the temperature doesn't come up, the infected are gone. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so we're going to grab our matches, and if the video cuts out, I'm very, I apologize, we'll have to continue it on a part two because I know it'll cut out at 10 minutes. But anyways, we're going to grab um, bark, firewood, and starter. Now what you can do with the animal fat is you you can build one of these which is a kettle over your fire pit. We're gonna grab the animal fat. I'm pretty sure we can only do four or five at a time. But you're gonna go like this. First you're gonna click on the campfire because we gotta get that going. Fuel, starter, tinder, accelerant is optional good we got it on the first try now you're gonna click on the uh, kettle that you created yeah we can only do four at a time now you're gonna click render fat it's actually already working on it because I already had some fuel collected as you can see once the fuel once the biofuel collects you can just click on the fuel can to collect it now with the meat it's the same concept we can take our tinder and our starter off of there we're just gonna need to get some firewood you pop the meat right here on the grill stand, but with the with the meat, you have to pay careful attention. Be very careful with it. Make sure you keep an eye on it, so that once once it's well done, you can take it off the grill before it burns. But yeah, that's uh, that's the gist of it. So I mean, the video might cut out if it does. Like I said, I apologize. I'm gonna try to fit in the gathering of or the not the gathering of, but the. Um, Wow, that's weird. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to make some firewood real quick so that we can get the meat cooking. Now, again, with the uh, grill stand, you're only going to get four pieces of meat on there at a time. And as you can see, I've already collected quite a bit. Also, the green number underneath the kilogram weight, that's the percentage of when the meat will go bad. So you got to be careful. That's why I'm glad I only took three chunks of meat this time. It was basically just to demonstrate to you guys how it works. And by the way, that you can go back to your kill. Um, however, I do have to warn you, it, it, uh, the kill is only fresh for so long, as just as is in real life. So you've got to be careful. Now you just hit ignite. Hopefully we get it on the first shot. And it lit on the first try. Okay, cool. 
and now the meat is cooking. It'll go from raw to medium to well done. You're going to want to take it off of there once it reaches well.